Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fast Lane pay per view. This is the last stop on the road to WrestleMania for SmackDown Live. We have six matches planned for you all tonight. We're coming to you from Tampa, Florida for Fast Lane here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And as you just heard our ring announcer JoJo, our first match of the evening will be the SmackDown Women's Championship match between Nikki Cross and Asuka. And there's the former SmackDown Women's Champion, Nikki Cross. I tell you, Nikki Cross and Oscar they have been feuding for a few months now. Nikki Cross defeated Oscar in a tables match. Back of the tables, ladders and chairs, pay-per-view in December. And Oscar won that title back last month in January at the Royal Rumble. So in all, Nikki Cross was the champion for five weeks before the Empress of Tomorrow, Oscar, won the title back. Nikki Cross is looking to become a two-time SmackDown Women's Champion. The question is, can she do it though? And trust me, this is gonna be the last time Oscar and Nikki Cross are gonna have a match for the SmackDown Women's Championship in a while because this rivalry is going to come to an end tonight. This is their third match on pay-per-view. I believe this right here is going to be a good match between these two. Because these two, Oscar and Nikki Cross, they never disappoint. And there's our SmackDown Women's Champion, Asuka. Asuka walking to the ring with pride as she wears the SmackDown Women's Championship around her waist. Asuka has been a proud champion. I'd say whoever wins this match will go on to WrestleMania to face Peyton Royce. But Peyton Royce did win the Royal Rumble match. And speaking of Peyton Royce, she has a match later on tonight here at Fastlane against her former partner, Billy Kay. Introducing the challenger from Glasgow, Scotland, Nick E. Introducing the champion from Osaka, Japan, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Asuka. These two ladies look ready tonight.
Referee holds up the goal. Referee rings the bell and we're underway. There's a huge knee from the Empress of Tomorrow and now Asuka firing on all cylinders. Nick Cross pushes Asuka away. And Asuka with a clothesline taking down Cross. There's a huge punch. Or punches from Cross and now Cross going after the arm of Oscar. Oscar with a reversal now. Picture perfect suplex delivered to Nikki Cross. Now there's a German suplex. And then Nikki Cross could possibly be visiting Suplex City as there's another German suplex. Nikki Cross back up to her feet. And there's a German suplex to Oscar. Good lord. So many suplexes executed in this matchup already. Oscar may have tried another one there, but it got reversed by Cross. And that is a back suplex. Irish whip into the corner. First cover of the match. Kick out by Oscar. Oscar rolls out of the ring. Oscar is going to the top rope. Kraska is back in the ring. What a hurricane runner from the top by Oscar. One count when Nikki Cross kicks out. Oh man, down goes Cross. Cross kicks Oscar away. And I step on the arm of the Empress of Tomorrow. And now planning Oscar in the middle of the ring for the championship. No. Oscar ain't going down that easily. Arm drag reversal by Oscar. Oscar tried to kick, but it didn't work against Cross. Oh man, a wicked German suplex by Nikki. Cover on Oscar again, and that's going to be a rope break. Punched by Oscar. Now Nikki Cross looking to win back the women's title. I just said Oscar ain't going now, we gotta fight. I'm going after the legs of Oscar. Oh, look at Oscar. Oscar. Can she retain right here? There is the Oscar lock. Locked in on Nikki Cross. What is Cross going to do? Is Cross going to tap? Is Cross going to tap out to Oscar? No. Nikki Cross breaks the hold. Cross broke the hole. Oh, uh, what kicks from Oscar? Good lord. Oscar was gonna kick Nicky Cross's head right in the next week. Now, Snake Eyes to the apron. 
Irish whip. I believe Nikki Cross hit that, hit the um, the ring apron. I tell you that apron is the hardest part of the ring. Once again, a cover on Oscar. Oscar once again kicking out. Uh oh, can Nikki Cross win the title? There's that swinging neck breaker. Swinging neck breaker to Oscar. Will that be enough? One. Two, three, no, no. Oscar got the shoulder up. Now Cross trying to win by using the roller boy. Oscar reverses. That wasn't even a two count right there. When Oscar reversed. There's the running hip attack from Oscar. One, two, no, kick out. A kick out. Now what could Oscar be calling for here? No kick for Oscar. And now once again, cross plants Oscar. And Oscar kicks out. Kip up by Oscar. Oscar with a close down. Another one. What a super kick taking that Nikki Cross. Reversal. That cross. Reversal by Oscar. Now Oscar, look at this. Cross arm bar. A cross arm bar by Oscar. What is Nick Cross gonna do? Is Nick Cross gonna submit? Will Nick Cross tap out to Oscar? Yes, she will. She has no other choice. Oscar is still the SmackDown Women's Champion. What a match! That was a great way to start Fast Lane. That was a very good match. Here is your winner, and still the SmackDown Women's Champion. Oscar gets a championship. Congrats to the Empress of tomorrow. She is still SmackDown Women's Champion and more than likely will walk into WrestleMania as the champion. Well, guys, our next match here tonight on Fastlane will be Adam Cole versus Dolph. Ziggler. Shock the system. Here comes Adam Cole. Now guys, this match does have a stipulation. Since Dolph is the Royal Rumble winner. So if Adam Cole wins this match, the WWE Championship match at WrestleMania will become a triple threat. I tell you, I sure do tell you, Dolph Ziggler would hate it if he actually lost to Adam Cole tonight because 
Well, the, the Royal Rumble winner is supposed to get a one-on-one -on -one title shot at Mania, but since Ziggler's, well, since if Cole wins this, he'll get added to the to the match at WrestleMania. And to me, that would be unfair to Dolph Ziggler, so this is a must-win for Dolph Ziggler. Because I know Dolph Ziggler can defeat Bobby Roode, but it depends on who walks out of here with the gold. Whether it's Bobby Roode or AJ Styles, we'll find out in our main event of Fastlane here tonight. But right now, we must be focused on Adam Cole versus Dolph Ziggler. Guys, this, this feud has been building up for weeks. It started at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view in the Royal Rumble match. Here comes Dolph Ziggler. And his opponent from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. The show off. But as I was saying, this feud started in the Royal Rumble match. Adam Cole, it came down to Adam Cole and Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler super kicked Adam Cole over the top rope and became the Royal Rumble winner. Adam Cole did not take that lightly. So he came to SmackDown and interfered in a match. I think it was Dolph Ziggler versus Elias. He interfered in that match. And, and he attacked Elias. Therefore, Dolph Ziggler losing the match via disqualification. So the next week on SmackDown, I believe Elias took on Adam Cole and Elias won. So I don't know if Adam Cole has got any wins yet, but this could be a possible win tonight. Iris whooped by Dolph. Splash into the corner. What a power slam from Ziggler. Now there's an arm bar by Dolph. I was ripped into the corner by Cole. He sits Ziggler up there on the top rope. But not, not a tree of woe position. It has a huge knee. Right to the face. Look at it. He was stomp. Now stomping on the hands of Dolph Ziggler. What a stump right to the face and Ziggler is in deep trouble now. But I stand corrected. There's a jawbreaker from Ziggler. And now a kick right to the right to the thigh of Dolph. Now Cole takes advantage of the match weight. No, now Ziggler with another jawbreaker. And there are some jabs from Dolph. Oh, what a boot from Adam Cole. Guys, this match has been really back and forth. This match has really been back and forth. And the early goings of this match, and there's a power slam. Now there's an elbow. Now what is Dolph going to the top rope for, and, and this man is on the apron? Oh, man. Down goes Adam Cole. And Ziggler is in the ring alone. That was a great way to knock Adam Cole down to the apron. And now Cole back in the ring. But Ziggler with the reversal. I tell you, Dolph Ziggler is a very talented wrestler. I believe that Ziggler can indeed win the WWE Championship. At WrestleMania. Now 
Adam Cole takes advantage of the matchup. Cover on Dolph. Ziggler kicks out. There's a famous set of Adam Cole. Adam Cole just get hit with the famouser. Would that be enough to put Adam Cole out? No, Cole kicks out. I thought Dolph had him. Now Dolph going to the middle rope. There's a knee. Now Ziggler slowing the pace of the match down. What is Cole doing? The Ziggler reverses once again. I, I believe Ziggler might have, might have been going for the zigzag. But Cole blocked the strike. And usually Ziggler helped strike his opponent to turn him around. And then go for the zigzag. But Cole, there's a shining wizard. That's his finishing maneuver. Cover on Dolph. That's a two count. But Ziggler kicks out of two. Now Dolph Ziggler is very resilient now guys. Don't get me wrong. Ziggler is very resilient. Now what is Cole doing? Ziggler's over there in the corner now. Oh my lord. What a power driver. Is that enough? That's two, but Dolph Ziggler once again digging down deep, kicking out. This man wants to go to WrestleMania. Cover again. One. There's a kick out from Dolph. Well, Adam Cole can't believe it. And neither can I. And I think these fans also can't believe it. Ziggler just created some separation. As he was drop kicked to Cole. Adam Cole is down. Now look at Ziggler. Tuning up the band. Dolph Ziggler. Super kick to Adam Cole. Right on the button. Cover. That's two. Three. No. Cole got the shoulder up at two. My God. What a match. That's a neck breaker by Adam Cole. Cover on Dolph. It's all about going to WrestleMania for Adam Cole. For Dolph Ziggler. It's about keeping your match a one on one. Because if Ziggler keeps the match a one on one, there's a 50% chance he could walk out with the title. But if the match is a triple threat, there's a 33% chance. Because Ziggler could walk out with the title. Now Ziggler going to the top rope. Missile drop kick taken down Adam Cole. Cover. There's a kick out. There's a neck breaker from Ziggler. Now what could Dolph be thinking here? Ziggler with a pharmacy. Adam Cole is busted wide open. Adam Cole, I repeat, is busted wide open. But he kicks out of the pharmacy. Snake eyes to the ropes. At the snake eyes to the ropes, what is Ziggler thinking now? 
There's a zigzag to Adam Cole. Ziggler with the zigzag. Is that the final blow in this matchup? One, two, three. Yes, it is. Dolph Ziggler wins. What a fight we had here tonight at Fast Lane. Congrats to Dolph Ziggler on getting this win. But what is Dolph doing? Come on, Dolph, you won the match. That's no way. That's no way for Dolph Ziggler to behave. Now, come on, you won the match. You got your revenge on the dude. That's not enough. Come on. You're doing too much, man. My lord. My lord. But up next, here tonight at Fast Lane, we'll have Edge versus Baron Corbin for the United States title. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the United States Championship. Here comes the Lone Wolf, Baron Corbin. And as you all just heard JoJo say, this match is an Extreme Rules match. That means no disqualifications and no countouts. And also, the United States Championship is on the line. Baron Corbin, I tell you, him and Edge, they've had match after match after match every week. I think it started three weeks ago on SmackDown. They had a match. The match was going very good until they had to end in disqualification because Baron Corbin hit Edge in the face with brass knuckles. They had a match the next week. That match was better than the one they had that previous week, but it ended in disqualification due to Baron Corbin hitting Edge in the face with brass knuckles. So this previous week on SmackDown, General Manager Shane McMahon made the match official, but he said he was going to add a little spice to it and put the United States Championship on the line in this match. So. If Baron Corbin wants to, he can, he can legally use those brass knuckles tonight. He can legally use them. The referee can't do anything about it. But there's someone who can do something about it. And this man's name is the Rated R Superstar, Edge. Edge has had his career in extreme matches like just go, go go look at the hardcore match him and Mick Foley had at Wrestlemania 22 I mean that match was vicious a spear through a flaming table thumbtacks it don't get no painful than that but Edge is our United States Champion though did you see the match between him and Shinsuke Nakamura last month at the Royal Rumble? And that match, that match was a good one. Fast Lane is such a good pay-per-view. It has been such a great pay-per-view so far. Two great matches. Let's see where this match follow through. Introducing the challenger from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. Corbin looks ready. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds. He is the United States Champion, the Rated R Superstar, Edge. The Champion Edge looks ready.
As I said earlier with the SmackDown Women's Championship, I think whoever can win this match more than likely will walk into WrestleMania as the United States Champion. I tell you, WrestleMania is almost here and it's going to be good. And now Edge. Oh, Lord. Oh, what a boot taking down Corbin. Now Edge getting the fans behind him here tonight. Edge. Irish Whippin Corbin is thrown outside of the ring. My Lord, I don't think I've ever seen Corbin get manhandled like this. This is built up frustration. Week after week of getting hit in the face with brass knuckles. I tell you, if I was Edge, I'd beat him down some more. I wouldn't get a Kinder so I'd get a baseball bat or something and beat the living hell out of him with it. And Edge ain't done. Corbin goes into the barricade. Good Lord, this is built up frustration. Into the steel, into the uh, LED post. My God. Corbin is getting manhandled by Edge. Ooh -wee. I've never seen anything like it. Now Edge has a chair. Now Edge is being extreme. Oh Lord, with the chair shot. And the chair shot. That stuff really hurts. Corbin's gonna be very sore when he wakes up in the morning. Did he see my edge? No. Corbin with the reverse. Corbin with the reversal. Now using the ropes to his advantage and now he might have edge right where he wants him. I think Baron Corbin just slowed the momentum of Edge down. Wait a minute, Edge. Taking down Corbin once again. Oh, I knew he was going to do it. I knew Baron was going to do it. Using the brass knuckles. But Edge kicks out at two. The United States Champion ain't going down without a fight. I tell you, a dog is going to fight at home. And that ring is Edge's home. That is a back break. Edge could be on his on his last leg here. Oh no, no! End of days. End of days by Corbin. Edge's title reign could be over, but Edge gets the shoulder up at two, and Baron Corbin can't believe it. Corbin cannot believe it. Uh, and I believe Corbin's back may have gave out. The edge went for a DDT again and the edge comes down on that kendo stick. I don't know if he did or not. Now Corbin tried to strike the edge off the apron but it didn't work. Edge to the top. There's a cross body. Will that be enough to end the match? One. Oh. Was that a two count? Maybe a one and a half count, maybe. Oh, Corbin got clocked with that chair. They just threw the chair down and picked it back up. Oh, man. Oh, no. Two rounds, this is an extreme rules match, and Edge is going to get extreme. Oh, he could have just shattered Corbin's ankle. Baron's Cor Baron Corbin's ankle 
very well could be shattered. Cover. Oh, but a one count, so his ankle really can't be that shattered if he kicks out of one like that. I'm just saying. Edge is really the only one getting extreme. I don't think the only weapon Corbin has used was brass knuckles, and it almost won him the United States Championship. But there's Edge with the Hills DDT. Edge with the Hills DDT on the Lone Wolf of WWE. But Corbin kicks out. That was a long two count, also. Oh, what a strike by Corbin. And that's huge close on. Why is Baron going to the top rope? There's no place for a big man, but he drops the knee on edge. Choke slam, perhaps. Or he could have to go for that back break again. What is this by Edge? What is Edge doing? Oh, what a spear! What a spear by Edge! And that right, that was amazing. A spear from Edge. Now Edge getting some momentum from the WWE fans, the WWE universe. Edge is doing his part in this match. Now here's Baron Corbin with that table. That table is set up in the middle of the ring. Baron Corbin possibly could be going through the table. But can Edge even pick up Baron Corbin? Oh, yes, he can. Yes, he can. They just set out Powerbomb. I don't know if Edge meant to put him through the table or not. Full Nelson slam and Corbin came down to that table. But the table didn't break though. Now once again Edge sets up that table. I don't know if Edge can put Corbin through that table or not. But Corbin is such a big guy. And then said I power bomb again. And Corbin came down on the table, but the table did not break. And Baron Corbin goes through the table. Corbin goes through that table. Edge goes to the corner. I think I know what he's going for. There's a spear. A spear to Corbin. One, two, three. Edge retains the United States Championship. So far, every champion here tonight at Fastlane has retained their title. This match was a great one. So far, the Fastlane pay-per-view just might be the best SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view in this Universe Mode series. Because the only SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view besides this one is TLC. TLC was... Decent, but I think this pay per view right here is better than TLC. Here is your winner, and still the United States Champion, the Rated R Superstar Edge. Edge gets his hand raised in victory tonight. I'm glad for the man. He will walk into WrestleMania, more than likely he will, as the United States Champion. He has walked in as World Heavyweight Champion before. This time, he will walk in as United States Champion. Congrats to Edge on retaining his title here tonight.
But up next, hitting out on fast lane, we'll have Billy K taking on Peyton Royce, an iconic duo showdown. Up next, hitting out in Tampa. I tell you, this match right here, I've been waiting on it ever since Shane McMahon announced it. Peyton Royce versus Billy K. Making her way to the ring from Sydney, Australia, Peyton Royce. I tell you this right here, this is an iconic duo showdown. I never thought I'd see the day where Peyton Royce would be battling Billy K. I'm like, these girls were best friends. Best friends in high school. Now I'm assuming Billy K is just a jealous type and got jealous because Peyton Royce won the Royal Rumble and she did it and Peyton Royce has an opportunity to become SmackDown World Champion. SmackDown Women's Champion, I meant. And she didn't. I don't know why. But Billy K just turned on Peyton Royce. Now trust me, Peyton Royce doesn't care. Peyton Royce does not and care. And her opponent from Sydney, Australia, Billy K. Billy K. I just still can't get over there though. Why? Like, you should be happy for your best friend. She has an opportunity to become champion at WrestleMania. But, I kind of see where Billy K is coming from, but still, I don't think she makes any sense. You just don't turn on your best friend because of that now. The best friends, bitter enemies. I want to see how this match is going to play out. But we'll find that out in a couple of moments. This is our fourth match of the evening. Referee rings the bell. Here we go. Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. Billy Kay already right out of the gate with a hurricane run. No mercy shown by Billy Kay. Now Billy Kay goes out there and puts Peyton Royce back in the ring. But Royce blocks that strike. That was some jazz by Royce. And down goes Peyton. I think this match right is going to be a good one though. Oh man, Peyton Rogers stopped Billy Kay in the tracks. Oh man, I tell you that had to hurt Billy Kay. Now Royce right there on the middle rope. She drops her knee. Oh! I tell you, if, Billy, if uh, Peyton Russ would have connected that, that wouldn't have been good for Billy K. Now Billy K just throwing Peyton Royce over the top rope. Maybe if she would have did that in the Royal Rumble, maybe the Iconics would still be together. And we wouldn't have this match on this card. I tell you, these ladies better get back in the ring before the referees count get to 10. Because we wouldn't want a match like this in there in a count out. But Billy Kay goes face first off the steel steps.
Billy K is in full control of this match. But I stand corrected as there's a knee from Peyton Royce. Oh, what a kick from Royce, but Billy K blocked it. And Billy K just dropped Peyton Royce dead on her head. Oh, but Billy went for a kick. I tell you, these two ladies know each other so well. They know each other so well. Now, there's that split by Peyton Royce. Looking to the corner. Now, what could Peyton Royce be thinking here? A hurricane runner from the top rope. And another split. And this time she doesn't go for the pin. Look at this Boston Crab. Will Billy K tap out? Now it's thump to the face. I tell you, Billy K is enjoying every second of that. Now she laughing? Oh, what a forearm by Billy. And there's a split of her own. Now she goes for a cover. But Royce kicks out. Oh, there's a suplex. There's another one. Three amigos. I think so. Cover. That's a two count. But Billy K kicks out. Young usually suspect that Billy K would kick out of something like that. Now Billy K with that huge kick. Now that's her finishing maneuver. I'm assuming that the three amigos is Peyton Royce's finishing maneuver. And that right there is Billy Kay's finishing. Cover. One. Oh! Peyton Royce kicking out of it like it ain't nothing. And this Peyton Royce said, forget that crap. What a stump to the face. Cover. Once again, Royce kicking out. And that's another split by Billy K. How many times is he gonna do those splits? Oh, Godly, you're not a cheerleader. What a form by by a pain. Oh, what a spear! What a spear to Billy K. One, two, three. Wow, that spear put Billy K. Out for the count. Payton Royce wins. I wasn't expecting a spear to end the match like that. Congrats to Payton Royce 
on winning that glorious matchup. But guys, up next is SmackDown Tag Team Titles will be on the line as the club will defend against the Revival. Here come Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson, the Revival. The Revival and the club have been going back and forth for a few weeks now. And they're finally going to have a tag team matchup for the tag team titles. This match right here I think is going to be a good one. Guys, this fast lane pay per view has been amazing. And we only have two more matches left. So after this match right here, it will be our main event for the WWE Championship as AJ Styles gets his rematch against the current champion, Bobby Roode. And here come. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Luke Gallows and Carr Anderson, two forts of the Bullet Club. Gallows and Anderson, they have defeated the Revival in the past. Now, I don't know if the Revival have defeated. The Bullet Club in the past or not, but what I do know is anything can happen in the WWE. Smackdown Tag Team Championship graphics shown on your screen. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 446 pounds, Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson, The Revival. The Revival. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 505 pounds, they are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. The club. I tell you, these two teams are going to battle it out for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. So it looks like Dash Wilder. Is gonna start things out against Luke Gallows. Oh, but Wilder tags out to Dawson and Dawson with huge close. And I tell you guys, they're a rival. They can be very sneaky. The rival can be very sneaky. What a boot from Anderson and a splash from Gallows, my lord. They're trying to kill Scott Dawson. And, and now there's a tag to Dash Wilder. And Dash Wilder, he's not scared to get in there with Carr Anderson. I believe Wilder and Anderson, they had a one-on-one -on -one matchup a few weeks ago on SmackDown Live. And it was a very, very great match. I believe that was the night when um the revival attacked the club backstage. This is GDC planning car Anderson.
Uh, Anderson dragging Wilder to to the club's corner. And there's a reversal by Dash Wilder. Strong Irish whipping to the corner. And uh, there's a huge splash by Gallows. Irish whip into the corner. Tag to Dawson. Now Dawson is taking his time getting into the ring here. And going up to the knee. I say Dawson's finishing maneuver is that knee bar. Oh, Gallo's miss. And there's an uppercut by Dawson. I hear some huge punches from Scott Dawson. Scoop slam. And I believe Luke Gallows might be bleeding now. That's his power slam. Now Gallows takes down Dawson. Tag to Anderson. Anderson is back in. As you elbow right to the back. Tilt to world back breaker. Now Anderson just slamming the head of Scott Dawson into the mat. Now Dawson reverses with the clothesline. And there's a shot block. Shot block. To Anderson, one, two, kick out. Now Dawson throwing the pace of the match down. Oh man, Anderson missed that uppercut. What a kick to Scott Dawson. I tell you, Dawson is really, he's really taking some damage in that ring right now. He really needs to tag. That's what he better do while he got the opportunity. There he goes. Wait, what, what is this? Shadow Machine. The Shadow Machine connects. One. And Dawson just let Gallows ran right past him. And Dawson better get out of that ring before he gets the Reviver disqualified. What a punch. The magic killer cover one, two, three. That was a three count. Now the ref just had his back turned. And now both members of the club just dismantling. Dash Wilder. Now 
Anderson better get out of there. Now there's a reversal by Dash. Look at the strength of Wilder. What a backbreaker. Cover. Over the top rope goes Gallows. That's a neck breaker. What a reverse. Now Gallows is launching his whole body into Dash Wilder. Oh, that's a code breaker. Dawson is beating people with that move also. I mean, Wilder. Wilder is beating people with that move also. Claws into the cover. One, two, three. The Revival are the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Congrats to them on their victory here tonight in Tampa, Florida at Fast Lane. Gentlemen, we have new SmackDown Tag Team Champions in Universe Mode, and they are the Revival. Congrats to the Revival on becoming new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Guys, up next is our main event as Bobby Roode defends the WWE Championship against the phenomenal AJ Styles. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Here comes the phenomenal AJ Styles. Now ladies and gentlemen, last month at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view AJ Styles defended the WWE Championship against Chris Jericho in a rematch from TLC AJ Styles won the match but afterwards Bobby Root came out and cashed in his Money in the Bank contract so that is how Bobby Root got to be the WWE Champion AJ Styles wants his title back Let's see, will he be able to get it in a matter of moments?
glorious. Glorious, glorious. There's the WWE Champion. Bobby Roode has been the WWE Champion for three weeks now. He won the title three weeks ago at the Royal Rumble. As I stated earlier, cashed in the Money in the Bank contract and defeated AJ Styles. You guys, can the glorious one have a successful title defense? I mean, like, Bobby Roode just lost to to um, AJ Styles' Bullet Club partner, Finn Balor, on SmackDown this previous week. So how will he respond to that tonight? Will he be able to beat the hell out of AJ Styles if he wants to? I don't know, but I think it's going to be a good match. These two faced off at SummerSlam for the United States title. In my 2K18 series, let's see how this match right here is going to play out. Introducing the challenger from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Introducing the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Weighing in at 235 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Bobby Roode. Referee rings the bell. Our main event is underway. Colin elbow tie up. Bob Root with a headlock. Styles goes under. Styles jumps over. Styles jumps over again. Over the top rope goes Bob Root. And the phenomenal AJ Styles is in control early on. And I root with a back break. This is the last match on the card. Let me go down and explain to you all what happened earlier on tonight. We saw Oscar defeat Nikki Cross to retain the SmackDown Women's Championship. We saw Dolph Ziggler defeat Adam Cole. We saw Baron Corbin lose to Edge in a United States Championship match. Edge retained the United States Championship. We saw Peyton Royce defeat Billy Kay. And we just saw moments ago the Revival defeated the Bullet Club to become the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. And there's a spear from Bobby Roode. Cover on AJ. Now slam the arm of AJ Styles down to the mat. Styles with a kip up. And as he was drop kick taking down Rude. Two, 
German suplex for the championship note. Bobby ain't going down that easily. Russian leg sweep. Oh, uh, AJ Styles, look at this now. Calf Crusher. And Bob Roo broke out of that pretty easily. And Styles goes over the top rope. This match right here is becoming very physical now. I mean, it's already physical, but good God. It's becoming more physical. It just starts going up there to the middle rope and drops a knee on Bobby Roode. Nope, Styles was going for Powerbomb. What is this? Styles Clash. The Styles Clash on Rude. One, two, for the championship. No. But Rude survives. At two. Now Styles. Springboard 450. Now is that enough to put away Rude? No. It's not. That was a drop breaker from Bobby. That is a suplex. But AJ Styles kicks out of two. There's another cup. Styles kicks out yet again. And look at this. My bro with a glorious GDT on Styles. And Styles gets the shoulder up at two, but just barely. Just barely. Now Styles, Fireman's carry neck breaker. Now Rude. It's really slowing the pace of the match down now. Now AJ Styles. What is Styles doing? Throws by Rude to the outside of the ring. Uh, Styles over the top rope taking out Bobby Rude. Now that's how it's done. Now this is what you call a championship match. This match is deserving of being the main event. Bobby and AJ 
that have had their history with Zelda in my universe mode series. This match right here, the one right here at Fast Lane in Tampa, Florida tonight, is way better than the one they had at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn at SummerSlam in my 2K18 universe mode. And now once again, AJ locks in a calf crusher on Bobby Roode. Is Bobby Roode going to tap? No, he breaks the hole. Oh, good lord, AJ. What kind of botch was that? Now Bob Root taking advantage. Since Dolph Ziggler defeated Adam Cole tonight, then the WWE Championship match at WrestleMania is still a one-on-one. -on -one, so I'm assuming that whoever wins this match will face Dolph Ziggler at WrestleMania for the WWE Championship. Once again, there's a suplex from Bobby Roode. That Styles kicks out. What is it going to take to pin the phenomenal AJ Styles? I tell you, it's going to take a lot. What the styles we're going for here? Phenomenal form. Bobby Roode is busted wide open after that too. The phenomenal forearm to Bobby Roode. Cover for the championship. No. Bobby Roode kicking out at two. Now that's something I can't believe right there. right here has been very good it possibly could I think it might be just a match of the night but there's a Pele kick from AJ Styles after the Pele kick is that enough no Rude once again kicking out Headlock. Miss Dials once again. Five must carry neck breaker. That's a punch by Root though. Hey, look at by Root. He plants AJ Styles. Styles has got planted. Cover. That's two. But Styles kicks out at two. Even I've seen Bobby Roode put superstars away with that. I know for a fact he used it on Jinder Mahal at Backlash. In my 2K18 Universe Mode series, and that was a great move right there to catch Bobby Roode with that Pele kick from AJ Styles. Very great move. We got Roode using a move against the gender. Well, that move cannot put AJ Styles away tonight. 
I don't know what can. This is a phenomenal match. Once again, there's a suplex, but this time Root does not go for the cover. There's an elbow, though. And there's a glorious DDT, and that just busted style. Wide open. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Bobby Root retains the WWE Championship. Guys, what a match. That is what you call a war. We had a war on our hands tonight at Fastlane. What a pay-per-view this was. At this time, I would like to thank everyone that watched this pay-per-view. I hope you all enjoyed it. I really hope you all enjoyed the Fastlane pay-per-view. The Elimination Chamber pay-per-view will be next Sunday. Here is your winner and still WWE Champion, Bobby Yeah, but guys, this is LeJellin Davis number one. And I'll see you all tomorrow night for Monday Night Raw.